Let's get it. All right. Welcome to the Just Action Podcast, where <laughs> all we do is take action. I am the one, the only holiday season. You're here for a reason. We got more guests. Please. <laughs> What's happening, y'all? It's your boy Troy Hughes with Pursuit Eating. Hey, and it's your boy Irv from Irv Eyes. So, crazy thing is, Irv stole all our state championships in high school. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's fine. But they did, for real. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, Who are you talking about? Football. Tom Zim. Hell yeah. Y'all stole with us. See, you talking? We talking layers now. What they was mean? up. We was second. Y'all were probably below us. What you mean? Yeah, we, we was nine one in district. I mean, we was undefeated in district, and mm. we was up by twenty one in halftime. This is a little bit before your okay. time, though. Yeah, 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 I was gonna say. I was yeah, gonna say yeah, he's talking about. He's talking about when they won state. You know, I'm talking about state. Yeah, yeah, it's the real yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, actually, yeah, we played out three times in two years. We played out twice in a year. Yeah, that's and that's bad. Yeah, that's bad. bad. But nevertheless, how y'all boys doing, man? We're doing great, man. We're doing great. That's good. I'm glad y'all and Josh. Josh is back from Colorado. Yeah, staple. I actually I ain't put it out yet, but I did shout you out. Remember you was like, "Say the white boys gone." Yeah, I put that on there. Yeah, the boy never said I'm not here. They come in with like seven. Deep. I had like five other dudes in this show. All black. Right, he was like, "Yeah, just say." I was like, "Hey, yeah. we got the white boy out here." Yeah. <laughs> it was an HR move. That's fun. Right. Fix the, for uh, you. Gotcha. There we go. But anyways, uh, how y'all living, man? How's life? Everything pretty good. Pretty good. We blessed. You yeah. know, just running around, hustling, and grinding, and putting things together. Okay. Fact, you know? Same. Same. Just accepting more opportunities. Um, I did. One, I'm doing one of my biggest paintings. You know what I'm saying? I'm selling tomorrow, so that's a some big that's a 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 so I woke up at one. Whoa, man! Bro, flights were crazy. Yeah, tell the story. Tell the story. <laughs> flights were crazy, <laughs> bro. You know, nah, you've been a little extreme lately, bro. <laughs> bro, uh, flights were like thirteen hundred, and the only flight I could get was out of um, Charlotte. So it was Charlotte to Denver. So I had to drive from Richmond at one in the morning to Charlotte to get there at five. Fly out of there, landed Denver, and then drove seven hours to Durango. Where is Durango? Yeah, I ain't know. Right. That's where my mom lives. That's like a jungle. Fire. Basically, is, is it bro. snow? Yes. Oh my gosh. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> he was wild. Uh, there was not a single black person out there. Wow. I yeah. know. I, 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 I not hate to run here now. Hey, hey, yeah, look. This is Colorado. They, they, I'd be uh, jumping uh, off yeah. a cliff or something. I thought it was in Utah. Utah. Drewski, Season of hey, the Drewski was out there. Who? Drewski. He took his family out there. Yeah, yeah. he's like, crazy. Oh, Colorado. Yeah. I don't know why he would do that. That shit's hilarious. We going to the beach. I was in Puerto Rico. I love to see one of the Aspen though. Yeah, that just like a. I got one zip lining. Yeah. yeah, I said, hey, but he was having the whole time, time bro. bro. I was scared at first, though. Yeah. I really was scared, though. You look, bro, it? that shit was hilarious. It was, it was dope, bro. Because, like, we over, like, so going to the zip lining place, you had to go, like, two miles over a mountain driving. Right. So the whole time I was scared. Right. So my boy, he drives fast, and he don't, and he be on his phone texting, but it's literally no rails on the side, and you can see, like, yeah. the, and they have cars, like, warnings that f- roll down the hills, like, right. all front. I'm like, bro, pay you attention. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't care. This is my life being right, here. You right, know right. what I'm saying? So I had to get through that. Then we get out there. You just see everything. We're like, oh, my God. Then you got to go up a tower that got to be, like, 200 feet high. So then I'm like, you got to climb the jump? Yeah. The tower? And it costs, like, $100 per person zip line. Because they said, they, the whole island line says the longest zip line in the world. You know what I'm saying? So I'm yeah. like, Shh. And we will get on it. But right. it's actually the second longest, though. But I'm like, man. So I just had to amp myself up. But once I was in there, you just over the, the jungle. You seeing the rivers and stuff. It's like little tears coming from the wind. <laughs> yeah. like, I just felt like a little bird. Right. Right. I'm like, right. I, I said, I'm with the sky people. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Bro, the video of you, your arms are back, bro. You look like a, like a fucking plane flying. Bro, like, <laughs> He had perfect form, like bro, he been doing this shit bro. his whole you life. You got to do now. You got to skydive. Nah, I, I did went, that. Jo- you yeah. went skydive? Yeah, yeah, I, I did it out of yeah. like Prince George. Yeah. Prince George. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I went to like I think I went to the seven five. Yeah, but it was fun though. Nah, that's right. No man, my you heart pay me. My heart. So the Dude, best outcome of skydiving. Is that you're alive and back on the <laughs> fucking earth? I mean, I'm like that's the best. <laughs> that's I mean, I yeah, was, so, so y'all like by yourself or somebody? No, nah, somebody on, on you. See, I don't like it. I want my life in my hands. Nah, like, you don't. No, 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 no you don't. don't do it, bro. They, you can like, pass out. Go, yeah, I'm gonna say they you go there. They say people pass out. They hit the ground and throw up. Like it ain't none. I ain't have none of that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? smooth. Yeah, like it's. I actually wanted it to be longer than what it was. Like it was like a five minute, like from the plane to the ground. But it felt like Five 35 seconds. Time, right. Man. It feels so quick. Wow. Yeah, because it, it so dropped quick. quick. Cause then the rest of it is you just gliding. Yeah, you just gliding. Yeah. That's dope though. I might, I might, I don't know. I rather I don't, I don't know. know. The gliding part is kind of what blew me. Like the drop was more intense. Yeah. Like I wish we would have dropped for a little bit longer. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, 
Yeah, for real. You real yeah. God. Yeah. 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 I mean, you were zip line. right here. Yeah. You were zip line. Yeah, I guess. I guess. I mean, it's basic. Nah, it ain't the same. It's thing. not the same. Nah, it's nah, yeah, 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 it's it way high. I, yeah. I did the zip line, but my zip line was small. I did that joint like Williamsburg. Yeah, yeah, go eight. Yeah, I did that yeah. shit. You know what I'm saying? That, that don't yeah, really that count. That ain't nothing. Yeah. But the skydiving. Yeah, I'm gonna try yeah. that next though. I'm gonna yeah. try. But I go with you. I know. I go with you. I know. I I'm in the ground waiting. Hey, look, I am not skydiving. White people supposed to be adventurous. Hey, look, I was just about to say, y'all doing white people shit. I'm chilling. I'm not doing none of that shit. If it was free. If y'all know somebody, an uncle with a plane or something, that'll give me. I'm not paying. See, that's wild. Wow. 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 Yeah. Just on some random. Like, I'm, not doing it. I'm not doing shit. I'm not paying. <laughs> yeah, come no on, jump out. No shot. No shot. We can all do it. Bring the cameras. We can set it up. Yeah, all right, we got a camera. Yeah, that would be what I'm saying. You would geek me the fuck out. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna have to take pre-workout. Let's go, Josh. Hey, you just need a little bit of Seamoss. Seamoss. You be good to go. Well, speaking of the CMOS and the creation of everything, uh, everybody's athletes in here. Yeah. Uh, that's kind of how we all met in one way or another. But yeah, definitely. The transition of getting out of, and everybody's prime athletes when you think about it. Everybody had a chance, you, uh, yeah. college, college. Yeah. Turf toe. I, hey, I was <laughs> almost <laughs> there. I was almost there. Almost this close. Yeah. But yeah, so like playing at a high level and then realizing like, I'm not going to be that pro athlete. I'm not going to be the one that's going to be the guy that I see on TV all the time. How was that transition for y'all to get into the space where... Now y'all creating. You have your artistic side of things. You're doing clothing brand. Yeah. You got the scientific side with the CMOS. How does that transition, or how was it for you guys moving out of the sports world? For me, mine was kind of easy because, like, you could ask Terrence. I went to high school. I mean, I, went, I played college with him for real. Okay. Like, he'll tell you, like, I put, like, halfway in, like, a quarter in, yeah. outside with everything else, though. So it was like... I never really had dreams of going to the league, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay. I didn't know I was even good to like my junior year of high school, you know what I'm saying? I started sure. getting recognition and stuff. So my mind was always just hustle outside. So like even when I was in school, and when I was in high school, I had jobs and I used to do a little hustling around. When I was in college, I even hustled when I was playing football. So it was mm-hmm. like, that was always my goal. Like I just used football as far as it go, as far as school-wise. Everything else was like, I'm gonna get it one way or another, you know? For sure. Yeah. Um, and for me, the same kind of thing. Um, as far as just once that recognition hit, that I'm not at Bama, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was at yeah, D1 Double yeah. A, so it was like the odds of me going to the league is slim to none. But as far as just transitioning into the artwork, I never wanted to work like a traditional nine to five. So once I stopped playing, I got into like sales, and then I got into the painting. And now it's like I can create my own schedule and do what I want to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And the world accept me for me. Like yeah. Yeah. no matter what I put on the canvas. It's gonna resonate with somebody, exactly. you know what I'm saying? So it's it's a cool thing. That's tough. That's, That's serious, tough. though. That's very important though, too, though. So it, like, to be comfortable in your own skin. Like, I, I don't know, like, conforming myself mm-hmm. to be like to fit into any type of circumstance. You Fact. know, so I want to be me however I want to be when I wake up. Fact. You know, so yeah, that's but that definitely played a big role for me as well. I love it. And even with like what what you're doing, and I I resonate with it as well. With never wanted to work a regular job, right? Yeah. And I mean. You hustle different ways, so there's different ways that you can get after it. But, like, with with your clothing brand, how did it start? Because I know with me, I was doing it because I was just doing quotes, right? Okay. And then it ended up turning into somebody was like, well, I was like, I want to do a shirt just because I'm saying stay yeah. goofy all the time. Let yeah. me just put it on something that you see. Then somebody was like, yo, that shirt kind of hard. I want it. Yeah. And then it turned into hoodies and then it turned into something else. But how does it <clears> start with you? Because I've seen your stuff, too, and you got, like, a more premium clothing brand. Yeah. How does it start? Did you start premium? Did you start... With like lightweight and it's yeah, yeah, yeah. like so broke material. So you know mine, what I'm so mine is like it's like a crazy story. So like my actually starting the clothing brand came from like ego for real, okay, and stuff. But um, like to get me into that lane, I was actually selling knockoff like Uggs, Louis V belts, and all that stuff. So like I was selling it all over the city in Norfolk and pretty much the state for real. So that really got me into the selling like retail stuff, you right. know. So then I was like. People are starting to mess with me all over. So I'm like, let me start making a um a, a, a t-shirt. I had a t-shirt line at first, and it was called Hollywood Tees or something like that. So it was like my nickname is Hollywood. So I was like, this Hollywood a pearl, you know what I'm saying? Just getting it out there. Mm-hmm. And then I saw people mm-hmm. start buying it. You know, it wasn't making a lot of money, but it was making good enough money to keep going and stuff. So I was like, hmm. But then I kept getting thirsty for knowledge mm-hmm. and want to learn more about clothing and stuff, and like it just evolving the brand. Right. So I went through about two other lines as well. I had another one called. 
old murder apparel that went along with stuff I, I used to do and I was like just running around and stuff but I wanted to evolve from that and have like a cleaner look and a push out a better image to the um, public like mm -hmm. more positivity for real so I came up with Pursuit Eat and, and like a cleaner look and I was like I want mine to be the best you know, you know what I'm saying because I travel so much with modeling and stuff so it gets me intrigued when I get to work for different brands and I see the back end they put into it and like the mechanics of business because I'm a businessman first so yeah. I'm like I could do that, you know, you know what I'm saying? But I just got to make sure I bring that white right quality to it. So, like, eating is based off just eat, keep evolving and evolving and keep getting better and being the best version of yourself. So, that's how I really got into clothing. Like, and like I love it. It's like my passion now, you know. Yeah. Like, every day I'm working with it and just trying to find out new ways and work with different people to make it grow beyond my vision. So, when you see eating, you don't even have to, <clears> like, <throat> um, it don't even have to be a line. You don't have to know me to yeah. know eating, you know? Yeah. 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 And the same with art. Like, I know you from being top tier quarterback, doing your thing there. And then it came to my attention through Josh that, yo, you know Irv? And I was like, yeah, I know Irv. And I, I went straight to quarterback because <laughs> right. that's how I know you. But he was like, yo, he doing crazy art. And then I end up seeing your stuff. And it's like, i.e., this stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. I'm like, yo, like, where does this come from? You know what I'm saying? The, the origin story, I was just telling Troy, is I went to a painting set. You, everybody know what a yeah, painting yeah, yeah. So I went there in, uh, down in Charlotte, got in there. I'm doing a stencil. You know, they walk you through it. And I was like, damn, I just wasted $60. <laughs> you know what I'm I, was, I literally could have did this in my house and painted whatever I wanted to. Yeah. So it kind of went from that to me just drawing little doodles for me and my son. You know what I'm saying? And then from there, I just had a bunch of paintings around the house. And my boy, I actually did a hat. Like, that's why I need to get with you on, yeah. the, on the branding and yeah. stuff. I painted on a hat. My boy was like, sell it. I'm like, ain't nobody going to buy it. You know what I'm saying? He put it on his Instagram. And somebody tried to buy it from him. I was like, yeah, yeah tell me why I'm selling that. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was like, yeah, yeah, tell me why I'm selling You got some. Yeah, so yeah. I, I took it, and I started selling my canvas. Um, same kind of thing, like, selling them drums for like $50. Like, cheating myself crazy. So yeah. it took me hours to work on I'm like, $50, just to see if somebody buy it. You know what I'm saying? And then from there, just doors just kept opening. Like, I'm in the gallery across the street. Jaws setting this up, you know what I'm saying? It's like stuff behind the scenes that I'm not even there. Like you were saying, I'm yeah. not there, and people seeing the artwork and just seeing the growth of the brand and stuff. So, it's yeah, dope. yeah, yeah, man. Both of your origin stories is dope, man. And I think it's it's vital. I think this podcast helps it a lot to realize like we all came from like ground zero. Yeah, facts. And now it's crazy because like we really we went to school together now. So I'm like, so he actually played football with my younger brother in high school. Like they won the state championship. Mm -hmm. But then, so I'm like two years older than him. So like we kind of had like the same or, like story in college as well. Like we both had a kid in college. Mm -hmm. And then like we kind of got swindled out of our scholarship. Mm -hmm. And like <laughs> trying to make something happen. Like we, by, <laughs> yeah. by the same person, we got finessed out of scholarship. Real, and it's like, and we both were star players. You know what I'm saying? I started safety. He started on um, quarterback. Right. So it's like, it's crazy that we're here now. You know what I'm saying? And like you said, I didn't even, I mean, I didn't know he was painting because I think he hit me up about two years ago. He mm -hmm. asked me about something. We was mm -hmm. DMing. But I haven't talked to him since then for real. Right. You know, then Josh, like you said, Josh hit me up. Like, because I was telling him, we would get into that later though. But Josh was like, yeah, you know, um, this dude named T. Irv, you know, he doing paintings and stuff. I'm like, Irv? I'm like, I know <laughs> Irv. Like, I don't really know Irv. Like, right. yeah, like, oh, there ain't nothing. Let me hit him up right now. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, and he got the same number, so I just called him straight forward. And then we just, we here now, you know? It, like you said, it's a small world. It, it yeah. is. How it's how everything, just, yeah, small everything world. just ties into each other. But Because before you said, come on, I ran into you, you at the baseball game. I was about to say, ran into me and was like, hey, stay goofy. Yeah. yeah. I was like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's, that's you in it. Like, for real, yeah, though. Like, for real, though. You know what I'm saying? I was like, damn. So that's that's crazy. And then I seen him again when I was at my studio. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was like That's crazy It's Eric, purpose We just following our purpose For, for real man. It's going all the way yeah. So when for did real. you take the leap And get a studio Because I think that's fucking cool Um, Actually it's like a shared space So it's I got it Maybe I don't know Four or five months ago And when I say It took off I was doing everything For like my living room You know what I'm saying and Yeah Just having a space For you can go and create Like Investments I left, investment. I left Bear To come here Yeah when I leave here, I'm going back there. Like, I sit in there for so, like, until I'm, like, in a chair falling asleep, Yeah, I'm painting. You know what I'm saying? You love that shit. I love it. That's you dope, know what I'm saying? Because it's like, like you were saying, it's a getaway. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, you can find that, like, certain paintings, like these, when I got, when I started doing these, you find, like, that flow state, and it's like time just stops. It's weird. That's a weird thing, and it doesn't happen. I swear. It's like. It when, don't happen for everything. It does, not at all. It happens for maybe. 0.1% of things you do in your life. Like, mm -hmm. sports is a very easy one to relate to because it's mm -hmm. like when you're playing a sport, 
I mean, we everyone has life going on. You don't think about anything. You're okay. just out there, just doing your thing. Mm-hmm. And the second you step off the field, like you still got like maybe ten minutes, and then you like get then it just, like starts hitting you. Like even like flag football. Yeah. Like bro, you just get away from everything, and it's like all right, this is nice. So to have something like that, and the podcast is the same way. You come in here, you get your shit off, and you're like talking. Even if no one listens, like your boys are in here listening. Right. Yeah. We're all like you're all building, and it's random like. This could this could get clipped, right? Or like one little thing could get clipped, and they saw you with us. It's like, oh, someone clicks your profile. Now you're getting a, a different. You know what I mean? Someone yeah. clicks our mm-hmm. profile from you, or mm-hmm. and it's like it's so it's so crazy how things happen. Like we had a dude come on in Tabidi, and now he's working, doing work with him. Like it's crazy. It turn anything can turn into a business right. or it's just like or progressive therapy. It's like yeah, progressive for real therapy. For it, real it, it really I is. I said that episode one. I think we was like, yo, I don't know where this is gonna come from, but like. This is almost like former therapy. Nah, it for is. Real, it Anytime is. Anytime get your thoughts off, but the conversation that we having now, none of us would have had it if we weren't sitting here right now. Nah, for nope. real. Nah, for real. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is the first time I'd have got to explain to somebody about my artwork and just even the studio. Like, that simple question was like, damn, nobody ever asked that. But in that, like, four or five month span, I probably did, like, 70, 80 paint. You know what I'm saying? Like, I go and I literally fill it up with empty canvas paint them all and Go try in. to get rid of them. Like Let's I, get it. The dude over there, I try to give that man so many paintings for that gallery. <laughs> like he it. got, it's too much stuff in there. He can't even hang it all up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm That's like, dope, though. And to keep it fresh, though. So That's I your looking. footprint, too, though. That's mm-hmm. your footprint on it. Mm-hmm. Like, for real. Have you, have you thought about, like, and this is just random, but um, getting into, like, mur- like mural paintings? Like, in, you know how you see these Richmond people, like, yep. going and getting a whole brick wall? So somebody um, somebody just asked me, they doing, like, a they found in a, a grow space. So they want me to paint the walls in there. So that'll probably be the first one that I do um, in a couple months. You so, serious about them? I like, you know, my dad, he like the supervisor for the city. For like real? for like like Park and Rec Center, mm-hmm. all them south side and stuff. Mm-hmm. So we probably get like, you know what I'm saying? We talk hey, about whatever, it. Yeah, whatever yeah, opportunities. Real, we you know definitely what I'm made that happen though. Yeah, because they down for all of it. it. I mean, a lot of it I know is like commission free. If you want freedom, mm-hmm. like if you want freedom of like I can create whatever I want, a lot of it's commission free. But imagine... Like you get like a wall and just do what you, you want, want to. And now, it, now I'm at that point now where I found my lane and I have like a style. You can look at my canvas and you know I did it. Yep. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So it's like to have a whole wall and I can do whatever I want. That's crazy. Stay on that topic because oh that's a big one have, for both of y'all. Finding the style, right? And I think I've, I'm figuring this out too as I'm like editing and getting this stuff down. Learning first to replicate. Mm-hmm. So who who was the and you said the same thing when you were modeling and you're seeing these manufacturers do these type of things and you try and replicate it before you find this pursuit eating style that you want to venture off to. Who were you guys replicating before you actually found like yo this is my wave or I like this and I can start flipping it my so, way. So with you Yeah, so with that I didn't have one. So I don't have like a favorite artist. I didn't go to art school. Yep. It's all like from here you know what I'm saying That's so tough. when yeah. I started doing it this was like my main logo okay. so I would put that just there and wear that and I put it on all my canvas and uh, I was out of town and the lady seeing my hoodie she was like oh you got a cause hoodie I got the sweatpants and I'm looking I'm like no nah, this is mine but he has like the two X's yeah. so I was like damn I can't run with this as a main logo no more I have to switch it and mm-hmm. the brand was Irv Eyes so I was like I'll just put two eyeballs you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. So then I start putting the two eyes, and I would put it into every canvas. Everything I do, I put the eyes on it. Damn, that's hard. You look at that. You feel me? That's hard. You start seeing it. That's like, crazy. Oh, with you know, yours, it played right into my hand because you had the two yeah, eyes right here. That's so, hard. So you know what I'm saying? It just worked in my favor. He like he literally fell in my hand. That's but crazy though. Yeah. That and then this print, like this little print there, mm-hmm. I put that on every canvas, and now it like. It speeds up my process because I know what I'm going to do before I touch the canvas. Like, I have a vision, and it's, you know what I'm saying, it's just there. But it all came from just trial and error. Like, everything that I was doing, somebody else did it. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, all right, now I got to switch it. And then it, it led me to a path of just, like, total creation. It was like, don't look at your phone. Don't look at the iPad. Just take a canvas and do it. And then from there, I just kept doing what I did on that camera. Yeah, that's a talent, bro. Yeah, no, that's, that's, that's true crazy. talent. Yeah, that's crazy. I appreciate, see, you, that's the one you got to peep the details with. Like, no, I've been the, watching like the, the sticky eater. joint. I seen this the Hollywood oh. up there. So you ain't, you ain't peep the sticky joint. I seen the sticky joint. I'm like, I'm just hustling. They got to make this money, money, money. That's crazy, though. I yeah, it tells a story through yeah, it. I'm about to go win that joint. That's hard. Yeah. But um, uh, for me, though, um, mine's is like I'm a like I'm a really big nerd for real. So like once somebody inspires me, I want to know everything about them. You know what I'm saying? Like so I could be like, 
how do I relate to that? You know what I'm saying? Because that's how I kind of get my boost. So, mm-hmm. like, even with my personality mm-hmm. with stuff, like, 50 Cent, one of my favorite entertainers, because, like, he comes from similar backgrounds, and I, I love his drive and hustle. So when I got into clothes, um, Milano, D. Rouge, really, um, from Philadelphia, really inspired me for real. Okay. And I even went up to there. I had a flag tournament up in Philadelphia one time, and I went to a store, and I seen it. And while I was looking at her stuff, I'm like, her track suits look like the same quality as mine, for real. So I'm like, it's possible. But I was like, so even like my first Pursuit Eden stuff, like the font, it was kind of similar to her. Like, you know, like the name is like Pursuit and Eden in the middle, kind of like Milan D. Rouge. Yeah. So, but I was like, hers was first, then everybody started doing that. You know what I'm saying? Mine was one, like, one right after hers, but I was like, I had to separate my stuff. I had to grow from it. So I just started just looking at different um, clothing brands, for real, like, and like seeing where masks could fit, and it, and just trying to, like, find my own model where I could fit that, that represents me still, you know what I'm saying? Right. So after I mastered that, I started just putting my own little tweaks to it. Like, even with this, it's like, it's a snake skin for real. Like, it's the snake logo. That represents um, the Pursuit Eating snake logo. It's the uh, snake in the bitten apple. Mm-hmm. So it's like, I like the, um, so am I, Damn, bro. Shit, get to going. You know yeah, how it is, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, yeah. Now, bro. But yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, Milano, that's where I got my inspiration for clothing. And um, and Dame Dash with the hustle for real. Like, Dame Dash is, like, my favorite entrepreneur ever. Like, besides anybody, Dame Dash. Because I see, like, he made he made me understand, like, um, cash flow for real. Because, mm-hmm. like, people always want to get rich from it. But you got to understand, you got to, it's like a steady flow of constant money when you're creating from scratch. Yeah. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like, some people... They they use their celebrity to to latch on to something that's already built, but they don't have ownership. So I'm big on ownership for real. So yeah. I understand that I might not have a lot financially extra, but I have a lot of equity and ownership. So it's like that means more to me than anything because I can control everything. Can't that's nobody tough, tell right? me anything that's like. Tough, but y'all can see, y'all can give me suggestions. You know what I'm saying? But it's still I'm just still in control of my yeah, ship. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So so Dame Dash and Milano for real. Milano de Rouge. I like that. That's yeah. so like basically just believing more in what you're building than the dollar. Then a dollar, yeah. Yeah, okay. because it's like a dollar's only worth what you're doing with it. And at the end of the day, if you if you know what you're building, yeah, it's gonna be worth more than a dollar, then that's like that's just true belief in yourself for real. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm not building this to sell. You know, some most people build companies to sell. Mm-hmm. Like this is a long haul. Like mm-hmm. I want my daughter to have parts of it. Like even with the eating, it's so much bigger than the clothing line. It's like it's part of the community now. So like I build a non profit called Pursuit Eating Youth Foundation to go around that. I have like a mobile store. It's like I want it be eating the work, eating the community. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, it's just like clothing, just what you clothing, just the body of it. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? But the spirit of eating is touching everything with every aspect, like the homeless, the kids. Like even with my my own um, my nonprofit, it's to teach kids skills and trades. You know what I'm saying? So they don't have to work for nobody, and they can have their own type of mindset. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But yeah, you be hustling, man. I just Bro. seen you went and you went and talked to the kids, didn't it? Yeah, um, I, I went to talk to the kids at the juvenile detention in mm-hmm. um, Oliver Hill in the city, and like I just got um, a message just now from the lady there, Miss Alyssa Austin. She was like, "Man, the boys still talking about you. Like they they want to know more because." Like, I never been locked up, but I used to run around in the same type of circles as those same kids. Like even when I was talking to someone, most of them are like someone like seventeen, eighteen. The people that they look up to, like in the streets, used to run underneath me for real. So like I say, Nate, like, like how do you know them? Because I'm being a, a, a what you call it, like a, a speaker, a positive speaker mm-hmm. to them. So it's yeah. like, so you got to think about when you growing up and people coming to speak to you soon, you don't relate to them so you don't listen to them right. so that's mm-hmm. why we be, we be joking why they talk like we ain't trying right. they don't know, we don't look like me I don't. you don't know what I've been through right. you know what I'm yeah. saying so it felt good and I'm like I know what y'all go through I know what y'all I know what y'all had to do before so I'm gonna tell y'all like it's other ways but you had to cut the BS you know what I'm saying like my main thing I, I preached to the kids was as a man you had to get you had to get structure you had to get a routine you had to believe in something and you have to have emotional intelligence to express how you feel with communication. Because I feel like my biggest problem with communities are, I mean, with people, period, is communication. Mm-hmm. You yep. do something to me, I don't say nothing. I just, I Let count it, it as a tally down. for real, and yep. I keep going on. So next time you say something to me, you might be in a good mood now, but I'm still holding on to that. Instead of when you did something to me, I said, hey, Josh, I didn't like how you made me feel just now. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Some people think that's soft. When I was younger, I thought that was soft for mm-hmm. real, but... I realized as I kept holding that in, I explode sometimes. And then I just do stuff that I'm like, damn, why did I even do that? And it's not even from that situation. You it's know, from 10 ago. Grudges, that yeah, I didn't held up for real. You so know what I'm saying? Who, like, 
I, I find you so I saw I find you very interesting because you have so much range. Like yeah. you you can be this person and you could be this person and you balance it very well. Yeah. Who was like your mentor to getting you to that point? And then like I mean, everyone has like their wake up call, and usually it's something serious, right? Yeah. You know, I know you have have had like loved ones lost yeah. and uh, things like that, but you know, you said you didn't go to jail. You didn't yeah. have to learn like technically the hard way. You go through your own shit. So like, what what got you to that point though? Yeah. So like for the first thing, my um, and everything's organic with me. Like everybody tell you like. Like you said, I have a wide range, but all of them is real. It's like, I'm not yeah. putting on no image, for real. Mm-hmm. Like, it is plainly me. And it's kind of like, it messes some people here that don't know me. But, like, people who know me since a kid be like, man, Troy, I've always been like this. It's just him. You know what I'm saying? Like, even my dad, like, yeah, that's just him, you know? But with me, I grew up in a complex background. Like, this is like, this push something. It's like, one of my uncles was a kingpin. Another uncle was a mayor. You know what I'm saying? Like, a mayor of a city. So it's like, my mind of growing up is like, I spent some time with this side of the family that's in the streets. So I learned those type of movements and behavior from seeing them. Then I go out to my people that's the mayor out in this city. And it's like, I'm around a whole different aspect. But you always have to be respectful in all aspects. But mm-hmm. so you learn different ways of respect. You know what I'm saying? How to carry yourself. But they all men and they all gentlemen, but they just in different worlds. So it's like, my mind went through so much growing up of how to kind of like like this adapt be able to survive in both worlds for real you know what i'm saying it just it just came natural so even like with me my living situation my dad lived in the city my mom lived in the county so i go to school in county um during the day soon i get off the bus i'm right back in the city playing for rec schools and just being around the city kids so it's like my mind even sharper and i was Mm -hmm. always in honors classes for real so like i was always one of the smartest because my mom made sure that for real so it's like I, I think that if I study, you know what I'm saying, I'm studying, I'm yeah. smart, but then I go down here and I bust your, you know what I'm saying, your yeah. ass down here. Mm-hmm. So it's like, what the fuck? You know what I'm yeah. saying? So it's like, what Back the hell? So, so I can carry that because I got intelligence where I know, like I said, I have, I'm high on emotional intelligence, so I can read people. So I can carry myself anyway. So it's like, I can play a wolf sometimes. I can play a sheep sometimes. Like when you first met me, you probably like, he chilled. Then you see him on the football, you're like, what the fuck is this? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, and right. that is a little aspect of me though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You see what I'm like, like what the, but that's just all this, it just the, the animal I am. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? It's like I'm an apex predator type shit. Yeah. Like I can like adapt to any situation for real. That's yeah. a, that's honestly, I think that's a great way to segue us into these pieces and not why we're here, but one of the main reasons why we're here is adapting so i'll start it and then i'll kick it to y'all That's right. but you hit me up well i it was either hit me up or i saw you posting about it i think i hit you up I hit okay you up. yeah you hit yeah. me up and you were like somebody's selling a bunch of paintings um, <laughs> by modeling <laughs> they, they, they're robbing me josh and i'm like yeah i see your point and it, and to my and i agree I was so angry too. Oh, you can tell he was so he, he was so me. nonchalant with yeah. it though, bro. Yeah. He like Troy. They already did it. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, bro. Nobody ever robbed me in my life. <laughs> and then they, they robbed me. It was a mile. Yeah. And I'm like, look how much they make it. They're like, Troy, it's over, Troy. Yeah. I'm like, you don't get it. Yeah. 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 He started talking about the picture. He's like, yeah, so pretty much people, they stealing my picture. <laughs> He's been piped out. Oh, yeah, they really stealing it. Yeah, but basically, if you look at it from one perspective, it's like, all right, yeah, they did, right? Yeah. But they also gave you an idea yeah. because you weren't doing that. No. And so we got now, we have the artist and the model in the same room who created this from literal, literal scratch, like the, right. the embodiment of this artwork. And I think it is going to, like, that alone is worth way more. Because I'm, I'm definitely into art. You're obviously into art. To have, like, the physical is way more important than just a copy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if we're going to do an auction, whatever we come whatever, you know, we come up with, but let's speak on that a little bit and get into this art and maybe explain what your visions were and things like that. Okay. Um, so as we all know now, they were still in his pain, <laughs> his, uh, his pictures. So that was kind of my theme running with this one. Um, I wanted to capture the same kind of image, just put it in my style. Um, as you see, she's still trying to do rag. Um, but everything like my paintings are layered. So like, if you watch the time lapse, it tells you a much better story. And it's easier to see from here, you know what I'm saying? But like this whole section here, you see everybody's like stop stealing. You see them robbing the pictures, telling, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> they're taking yeah. the pictures. 
it got paid me and everything. Um, this kind of tells my story how I was saying, like, I painted the eyes. So I got the eyeball here painting. You know, I should paint an eye, like a play on eye ah, and eye. You know what I'm saying? So I do that I like a that. lot in my canvas as well. Um, and then just trying to incorporate just things in his life. Like I put the Pursuit Eden logo there. Um, even he told you his name Hollywood, so I got the Hollywood up there. Um, it's a bunch of different stuff going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. he got the hustler. You know like, what I'm saying? And, and what made this so dope is because like. Like most people, he actually knows me for real. Right. So it's like I'm looking at stuff. I'm like, he, only he because he know from years. It ain't like facts. he just like some person that just met me for real. Like he really knows. So it's like, damn, he really went detail. For real. Like, I'm really looking at him like, <laughs> oh, this is dope. That got, got the workout. You know what I'm saying? You know you be. That's on crazy. The yeah, like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Each time you look, you see something new. Like, <laughs> man, you like, gotta really just look up in. Top. The football players up man, top. Playmaker. Kelly, like, you know what I'm saying? I got a football player up there. Playmakers. I got. Uh, Still and lose a finger like a mob me. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, it's like it's a bunch of tough. you know what I'm saying? Like you stealing my pictures of a bunch of stuff going in that direction. Um and then this one to put over top of the actual painting or the actual picture of, of modeling, I went with more like a black love kind of thing. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So you see like got the poetic justice up there, um love and basketball backdrop, the um I mean a whole bunch of stuff, man. This is dope, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's it's a lot. It's it's a lot to unpack. But like I said, when you see the time lapse, I had to hold everything back before I can post them. But once you see the time lapse, you kind of see how everything layers up and goes on top of each other. So that's definitely one of those must haves. I want to keep it for myself. I ain't yeah. gonna lie to you. I'm speechless, bro. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie to you, bro. It's like I don't even know what to say right now. Like, yeah, you killed that. Yeah, you killed it, bro. And Appreciate honestly, it. I think it'll it'll be a really cool video. Uh, we'll you know running like this, and then we'll, we can do the time lapse, and we you know do a you know, two to three, four minute video mm -hmm. where it's showing the time lapse, but yeah. it also has us talking and then the the artwork. Um, it's I, This is just a really cool process nah, in my opinion. This is dope, sure. man. Nah, I'm, I'm glad y'all came to me. You know what I'm saying? Because it was oh, one of those me. time frames where I was in between pieces and didn't know, like, what, what I'm going to do with my next one. You know what I'm saying? Just looking for inspiration and y'all called which I don't know is I did it that night. Yeah, for real. Yeah, like it was done That's the crazy. next day. That's crazy. And, and yeah. That's a lot about you. <laughs> That's it, not, not for real, because yeah. some people would spin you up like, but I, like, I had a feeling like I ain't going to have to keep asking. You know yeah, what I'm no. saying? Like we already know. Yeah. Like it was like, it was clear communication straight through and you could feel the energy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I do appreciate you for stopping me from being a bitch for real. Because like I was really <laughs> I acting like a bitch though. I I'm being honest though. Like, I'm being honest with myself though. Because I was acting like a bitch though. Because I was like, I was mad. Yeah, you could tell. I was mad. Because you was out with your daughter when you called me on it yeah and I, I still piped up I still I, like if I would knew who the artist was I would have had a knock on their door like, <laughs> nah, like, I don't need some type of reparations that's real, like that. that's that's real. real though you, you saw the problem for real you know what hey, I'm saying nah, like I said it was it was just perfect timing like that's how it, shit works out it's weird it, it always is weird it's always like how did that play out like how did we, me and him, randomly get on this pocket? How are we in this room? Yeah, like stuff like that. And that it's like you hear enough people say enough W's, enough like small incremental things happen, and then all of a sudden you turn around and you're wearing a clothing brand that's well known in the city yeah. from the beginning when it was just a screen uh, a trapper yeah. shirt. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like yeah. the growth right. happens slowly and ra and just random things align. And I think this is just like. To me personally, it's a really cool concept, and if it if it catches, you know what I'm saying, which it, it's gonna can, catch. We gonna speed yeah, that sure, sure. sure. It's gonna sure. catch. We're gonna start doing some prints. So like the originals, these are the originals. Everybody, mm -hmm. if you're into art, you understand. Original is is the piece. The, and yeah. another, not to cut you off, but yeah. another piece on that is I don't do prints. Oh, so, so there is no print of yeah. any of my paintings. Yeah. Like everything is a one on one. So to get prints of these is like a it's a bonus. Yeah, yeah. you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, that's yeah. not something that I do. One time, like you yeah. feel me? Yeah, yeah. It's not something that I do. So So I think just to just to have it as like a sound bite more or less, we are gonna or you're gonna post it up, right? Yeah. Do y'all wanna run it as an auction? Yeah. One piece, try one piece as an auction. Let's do it. Oh, yeah, we can. Well, like it. I said, whatever. We're going to be on the money, yeah. bro. Because we know we got something. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, hey, fact. We know we got something. Fact. And this is just the beginning of things. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not a, a one time done. Like, no. We ain't mm -hmm. going to water it down with it and do too much. But yeah, like, we got something mm -hmm. here. Yeah. We're mm -hmm. going to make this There's work. Definitely multiple collabs. Because look, you got, you could collab with Stay Goofy and do some tough shit. Collab, collab with Pursue Eden. We're trying to do some, like, uh, Podcast merch type deal. Like, mm -hmm. there's just, there's definitely uh, room for. Yeah, for, open lane for yeah. everything. Yeah, mm -hmm. it worked though. And if anyone's listening to this and they got an idea that can run with this, let's add to it. For yeah. sure. Because you get the right people in, in the room. 
And that's how shit takes off. Mm-hmm. And working together, honestly, getting the right, like, you you say it a lot. Like, if you had the right people around you, you would be taken off. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's what yeah. it's all about. And I think I'm in that, um, that point in my life where God is putting those right people in. I already removed a lot of people that shouldn't have been in my life anyway. So now he's putting the right people in. And it's coming from a place that I didn't even expect it or, or was looking for it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's just people that's following their purpose. I think people don't know what their purpose is, so it, it, it causes, like, friction in somebody else who does. You know what I'm saying? Because they don't know what they're doing. But he knows what he's doing. Mm-hmm. I know what I'm doing. Y'all know what y'all doing. So it all lines to going forward. You know yep, what I'm saying? It's just making it make sense for them. their own, like, impact. Yeah, oh, it was like we a car. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, somebody the engine, somebody the tire, somebody the steering Facts. wheel. But yeah. it's all the car going forward. Facts. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And as long as you know that role. Yeah. Play the role, that's all it is. Play the role. You good. That's the key part. And that's what's, like... Like when, for instance, for like us, when we had a uh, Tabidi come on, he's a great interviewer. Yeah. Like AJ is a, he is a very likable person. And he's very good at speaking. So, me and Dre were like, all right, we'll just kind of like get ours in when we can, more or less, and we're completely fine with that. It's no like, oh, AJ's getting the shot. Like it's it's a growth that we see can happen because it's a team effort yeah. type mm-hmm. deal. So you having people play a role is such a key part. It's and knowing win. people, yeah. like. I didn't really know you, but I knew of you. And right. I was like, I can, right, right when he, the first person I thought of, and it's it's probably crazy to you, like, I don't even know this dude. Like, I'm the <laughs> Wait, first no, person I thought when he of. Was saying, he just kept saying Josh. I'm like, who the hell is Josh? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was like, if I see a picture, then when you call, he was like, no, I seen you at the dial. I was like, okay. You yeah. Know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was like, yeah, I I know know you each other. No, crazy. I didn't know him at all. I just, I, I was at the Diamond, yeah. and I Carrie knew him, yeah. and was speaking really highly of him. And then we just swung by there, and I saw his art, I was like, this shit is tough. And that was like my, that was like my first. My first like pop up shot. That was That's before, crazy. For real, for everything that was there was kind of stuff that I was just like just trying. That was before I found my lane. That Jeez, was me crazy. just doing like popular character. Everybody like Mickey Mouse. Yeah. I've been a Mickey Mouse. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. I was yeah. Like, so now like my table looks totally different. That's like, hard. Yeah, you walk up to my booth. I definitely now, got, what you like, got? What you say? You selling it tomorrow? Um, no, nah, that's just somebody. Somebody okay. commissioned oh, the job. Yeah, tomorrow. My next show. Uh, I gotta lock it in for real when I get to the crib, but it's gonna be in Charlotte. Let me know. For sure. We, I definitely take that trip though. For sure. But another thing with that is like it's not being afraid to reach out. You know what I'm saying? Like people gotta put their pride and ego to the side with mm-hmm. that. You know what I'm saying? Like some people have been afraid to hit up Irv, like, especially not talk to him in a while though. Like, Facts. you know what I'm saying? Like with an idea. People put their pride and ego away and it stops. Blessings for real. You know what I'm saying? Not knowing. Like that, that was an opportunity for me as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I said, and I, I won't even you know what I'm saying? I'm like, it just all makes sense for Facts. us for real. You know what I'm saying? It's all genuine for real. Yeah, and it's also taking risk with your time. Because it's like, like none of as of right now, not none of us have made any money doing this, right? Yeah. You took a risk on buying these canvases, on doing this, on doing your art, and putting your time in. We're taking a, a risk on coming out here doing. You know what I mean? Yeah. We're all mm-hmm. putting effort in into something that we don't, we don't know where it ends. Yeah. It's not always a what am I getting out of this? Yeah, yeah. you know what I mean. It's not yeah. you're not always going to be even with someone. Don't count up your oh well he I did this and he did he did that. Like just go with it. And, like, something that, this is just something that I personally think of, like, I really won't do something for somebody unless I think they'll do it for me. Yeah. So, yeah. like, if you hit me up, like, yo, come pick me up on the side of the road, I'm going to come pick you up. Because I yeah. know at the end of the day, if I call Troy and I told him the same thing, he's going to come do it. So, it's like, that that way, I, in my head, I'm not ever feeling like someone's getting over on yeah. me or vice versa. Yeah. I'll just do it and, and run with it. And I think everybody in this room did that. Yeah. Like, it was just like, let's just try this shit and just see what happens. And like, then with, with all all these lanes, like, as far as podcasts, there's no, like, definite finish. Like, it's not like you play basketball, your your goal is to get to the league. Like, mm-hmm. there is no end goal for podcasts. And it's yeah. like, you just go and keep growing and growing and growing. Yeah. Same thing with a clothing brand, same thing with painting. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's like, all those lanes is just meant for us just to Infinite. put, yeah, yeah. just put in, the, put in the work, put in the grind and just see how far you can go with it. Yeah, yeah. I think that's a big thing too, because I think the the following that we have kind of revolves around sports. You know, we're starting to get mm-hmm. that clothing brand and the artistic side of following, but initially it comes from sports. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You saying that I think is a big uh, testament to somebody who is in sports but is like nervous. Because I think okay. even with me, when I was about to stop playing basketball, I was like, "Well, what am I going to do with my Facts. life? I ain't yeah. know what was going to happen." I've been doing happen. this since a kid. Yeah, yeah. yeah, like this is all I know. You have to realize. The it's so hard to get to the pros, yeah. like in terms of numbers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What you just said right there, nobody nobody realizes that, especially as black men. Facts, yeah. bro. It is infinite, bro. Outside of sports, yeah. 
And when you start yeah, talking you know, business, yeah. it is infinite. Mm -hmm. As long as you find your lane. And all of us are in business just in a different lane. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Give or take. Facts. No, it so, is. Sure but it yeah. is, though. So, like, to the camera. Bro, if you're doing sports and it's not working out, it's not the end of the world. It's only so far you can go in sports, but there's so much that you can do with your true talent. Yeah. Like, it's a hundred ways to milk a cow, and the work ethic that you get from sports, bro. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the like, structure and yeah. all that. Yeah, because if you look at it, like, look, like, I'll just use y'all three as an example. All three y'all were really good at sports. All three y'all played college ball, right? There's a reason y'all are excelling outside of it. Yeah, it's because you're using that same work ethic, that same mindset, that same drive. I want to be the best. I want like that's because all that shit is yeah, yeah, it's, it's real. real. It's, it's, it's like real. military. I'm you know? working out the summertime. Bro. Like, I gotta push through like the finish. Gotta push out the finish. Yeah. Like, on days, on true. days where I like, I don't have to work, and I like, I know when I get up, I'm going to the studio. It's sick. If I don't get up at five, go for a run, go work out. My mind, like I don't. You all off? Don't, yeah, for I don't flow right. Like for if real. I get up and the clock says like eight. I'm like, damn! I missed the whole I missed day. The day. I missed the day. The day going. It's like, only eight o'clock, bro. And all I'm doing is going to paint. You know, <laughs> but I have to get up and go through a routine like I was still playing. Like five is when I wake, work out, go damn. for a run, get my day started. You know what I'm saying? And then from there, then I can go to the studio. That's a get, huge key to success. Like, I mean, I'm not doing that, but like, <laughs> I'm being honest. Like, I tried it. But it's so it's been, that's not easy. That's like it's that's the very good that you're programmed that way. Though. I feel like, like, it's like everybody who went to college and played sports and was dedicated to it, you are locked into that system, like that that yeah. routine. Like then you are a, going to get up before the sun. You got a cheat code started. regardless if you made it to the league or not because you just stick with that. Look at your work ethic. Like that's Facts. why you're doing paintings Facts. and that's why you're knocking shit out the day we hit yeah, you up. Facts. Facts. Hello. I'm still right here. I'm already seeing location. <laughs> no, how that go? But no, nah, for real though. <clears throat> Let's do. You want to uh, hit him with a quote, uh, and then we can do the pictures, or yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. All right, yeah. Where we at? Like, are we about an hour, right? Oh, we check forty-five. I like that. That's good. Yeah, I think it was concise. Yeah, I think I think I think we got it. I think we got everything we want to get in. Yeah, yeah I cool I with that. Yeah, 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 yeah right, perfect. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, that's a, that's a. Fun way to end it. But yeah, yeah all right. Cool. <laughs> uh, let's see here. What have I been thinking about lately? Oh, I just uh Myron Golden. Um, he's talking about the four level the four levels of value. And I think one that we've all been um big on right now. So four it's four levels, uh bottom levels, implementation. This is not gonna be a quote, this is just gonna be like something I learned. I think it right. kind of resonates with what we're talking about. Implementation is the first level, uh, you know, and that's basically just like using your body. So everybody started off with like a job, just using their body, muscles, things like that. Unification turns into like, okay, maybe you might be the manager now. You might be something of that nature where you kind of unify and bringing people together. The third and fourth levels is where I really think we're at now, and I've been thinking about it since I saw the TikTok yesterday. I ended up started watching. I'm like you. Once I figure yeah. out something about somebody, I'm like, I need a deep dive on whatever you're yeah. talking about. Every podcast, everywhere you're talking. So third level was communication. He was like, yo, the reason you lose money is because these levels of value. Once you get to the level of communication and you know how to communicate yeah. to the masses and get, and it's not like, and I think he was saying the same thing with like actors, artists, uh, rappers, things of that nature, because they're able to portray and the, like the power of the tongue is like big for me. So like the same way you said we're going to manifest this money's coming on that it's what you say yeah. mm -hmm. so communication is that third level of value and then the last one was imagination and you touched bit you touched on that where you was like bro I had a room full of blank canvases I put my phone down and I just used my imagination right. and that level of value right there is where the most money comes and most people thinking like yo it's not a I work hard on this implementation I'm going to end up making a million dollars you're mm -hmm. still working mm -hmm. in your body mm -hmm. yeah. you are now using your mind with imagination and that's infinite facts yeah. so Ooh. I think those are the four yeah, levels don't do enough for real yeah. 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 you smoke that you smoke yeah. okay, that you smoke that everything in the head yeah. 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 that's him bro yeah. that's, that's him every podcast bro yeah. that's so, so accurate though for real like yeah for yeah. real so uh I ain't got to tell y'all to do it but pay attention man these guys dropping gems dropping game we got an auction coming on this. We got prints coming out on this. Stuff that don't even be happening. We doing it. Facts. So, I appreciate y'all for coming, man. Yeah, appreciate y'all. Yeah, this, 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 was, this was big, and I already know this is just the beginning. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, sure. you definitely see some more of us. We'll see some more of y'all, but 
Uh, we ain't even give you the uh, call to action. Make sure you like, comment, and we'll subscribe. subscribe yeah. We'll Let's put all that. this stuff uh, in the description below so you can go check it all out. But uh, this is the Just Action Podcast, and we'll see you next time. Follow, follow, follow. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. That's it.